Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard with a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I have primed twice with my combination of blacks, which is half Walmart semi-gloss. Um, I'm trying to think of the name of it, but it's neat. Uh, no, I'm not certain what it is, but there's only one, so you'll find it if you're looking. So I got a couple shovels and they're resting in a little refuse pan and I'm going to fill those with colors that I have over here. And this is an enamel. I'm going to use some black enamel as a catalyst. And I also have some pink enamel and I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But here's my little dish. Those are my little swipe cards. And I'm just going to get busy for a minute making up some shovels of color and hope that I can get away with them. Maybe I would rather have this. Yes, I would rather have that. So Whatever comes out, whatever goes in last comes out first. So I'm thinking, what am I thinking? <laughs> I am thinking I'm going to just give myself a little bit of that blue enamel and continue on and try and remember the sequence. I guess it doesn't actually matter what the sequence winds up being because I will change it up. Here's a little white enamel also. Maybe I'll just wait on that for a second. Maybe I'll wish that I had opened this bottle. That is a color shifting turquoise from Folk Art. And it has sealed itself up because it's 90 degrees out here today. And there's no stopping paint. Pull your threads out once in a while. That way you'll have less chance of those things drying up and going into your paint. Well, that's not perfect but I can see the thing plugging it, so it's got to come out right now. There we go. Gotcha. You look like a piece of thread to me. So i got to ask you guys if you wouldn't mind, can you try and watch the video longer because that might give my, my channel a chance to be seen by more people. I'm going to put that blue in there. kind of want some lighter blue. kind of want some of this turquoise, and I didn't think I did. Because if you like the one, I was going to like that's not the right color, but it is. So I'm just going to keep going. I'll never remember this sequence, but we'll give it a shot. What the hey? That is a folk art neon that always requires some white near it to work. That is a red that has had some golden iridescent fine added to it. This is a folk art color shifting purple. That is a golden product with iridescent fluid, excuse me, iridescent pearl fine in it. I want some more of that blue. I think I'm going to keep, I think I'm just going <laughs> to, I'm going to call it good at a certain point in time and uh, then I'm going to have to start over again. This is maybe not my fastest way of doing this. I think I much, I much prefer scooping it out. And just for grins, you know what that phrase is. I kind of want some Prussian blue in there and I haven't shaken any, so give me a minute. My shovels are almost full. Let's see how far I get with my shovelfuls. Let's hope mo those are mostly out of the way. And maybe I can make these go further than I think I can. So, my idea is I get to start furthest away from me. And wider is not a bad thing. But I want to leave plenty of space in between stuff. Alright, that's running out, so I'm going to start again. Doesn't look like I have nearly enough purple in there for some reason, so I'm just going to put it in. And it doesn't have to be in any particular configuration because it's abstract art and the more abstract the better in some cases and I do want to use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula just to get as much of that paint out of one put it in the other and then use it as I can the, uh, the colors will tell me if I want to add something and I kind of want to add some more purple 
I'm going to throw that first shovel right in the bucket. And add a little bit of that. And a little bit more of, yes, that. And maybe just a tad of this. And a little bit more of everything, basically. All right. I'm just going to let that relax right out. I'm going to use my finger because <laughs> I'm not up for letting that relax right out. I think I'm going to give myself just a little bit more paint down here and see what happens if I just add some paint right in there as an experiment. I will see if I can fake it out. So if you're nervous and you don't want to do what I did, get some of these things out of the way before I begin this next stage. I kind of want some greens at the bottom, but it might be a tomorrow edition. So this is my this is my enamel, and I'm going to put. Am I? I'm going to I'm going to put it as soon as I can open it. It was open. <laughs> it really was. Throw that spatula in the bucket. Clear my tip. I can see out there. I can see I've got threads need to be cleaned out. I don't like it when they stick my fingers. Leg out. <laughs> Please. All right, so my plan is to put some gold over the top of all these. Actually, my plan is to put some blue over the top of all of these, in addition to what I started with. And maybe next time I'll use alternative colors, but for right now this is going to work. So I'm not going to swipe except for on either side of these flowers, so I'm going to make a note of where I'm putting my enamel, and that's the place I'm going to use it from. We'll see how this works. It's definitely an experiment. I do think that I wanted some gold in there, and I think the way to do that is this. Because the gold and the black together definitely create pretty cells. I kept thinking I was going to have the blue be something that was going to be silly, but on the black background, I'm not sure, so sure right now that it would show up as well as I want. I don't know what this is going to be like, but I am going to start at the bottom. Am I? Yes, I am. I'm going to start at the bottom. I'm going to need a wider, a wider swipe card. Not much though. This may or may not work. I suppose there's always tipping a chain if it doesn't. I expect some of the colors to be melded, become melded in with everything else. I think I could have used a little more black, excuse me, a little more gold. I'm not wiping off my swipe card yet. And I could. It does make me want to do the green thing I was talking about. And I could go up from the bottom. I kind of want to do some green and some enamel and see what that's going to be like. 
So I'm just going to do that. Up and down. Figuring any residuals will work out. Kind of want some other colors in there, like this other green. And this other green. I often like purple too. But I think I have to go up. It occurs to me I actually have a long, thin, I have a, whoops, that was not good. <laughs> well, that'll make it more interesting. Good thing it didn't go any further than that. I'm going to connect those. I think I'm going to come over here before this gets any drier. And just a little bit of that enamel. Don't be afraid to spread it around or knock it off on the bottom. Very hot. I have to work very quickly. Don't think I need a lot of enamel. I'm inclined to go up and back. Just use the edge of the swipe card to add some definition, such as it is. I did this in a slightly different way recently. I'm not sure which way I like better. The other one was easier. <laughs> I have wanted to use other colors with the enamel to see what could be accomplished. I love what the gold looks like, but um, it's not the only color for sure. But it'd be really nice to I spy that little card that I had waiting for me. Or, there we go, I found it. Cool. I hope it works. <laughs> now that I've bragged it up, let's use. Let's go from this side. right up to the top. I've got so far so good. Ooh, the blue made some great cells. I guess that was a good thing to know. And I've got plenty of this black enamel here. Here and there and everywhere. And it occurs to me you may not be able to see all of what I'm doing. If I stick the edge of my card in to some paint that's heavy, especially with the black background, I can make this sort of implication of something happening. I think it might take me a little while to work on this, but um, I've got two minutes, which means I should tell you that my artwork is for sale and uh, you can find my email address if you'd like to contact me in regard to that underneath the video. It's E-A-S-P-B, the word gallery, at gmail.com spelled out. If you will watch the videos longer, you will help my placement on YouTube. It's not a guarantee, but it would be very helpful because I've got 86,000 subscribers, thank you very much, and only ever a couple hundred people at a time seem to be watching. So. Thank you guys who are watching. Yes, I did. I just used the fact that my canvas was dry behind to be able to take some of that paint off. And it's filling in pretty nicely. I'm not sure how far I need to go. I don't want to go super, super past my comfort zone. Maybe I should have left that little black dot. But um, I'm not hating the composition right now. And I do want to kind of keep on with the theme. I've got a nice little rounded edge on this card. Not sure how to describe that or where it came from or how you would reproduce it, but it is spreading the paint nicely. 
and I'm thinking just the impression of foliage is, is almost as good as a hard or even a soft line. So I should show you this and think about torching and maybe I can do some of this upside down. I don't think that's a good idea. But um, if I torched, I'd have some more cells. I have just enough gold cells so that it's a really, really nice thing. Two dots. And anywhere I've got that black enamel is a good place for me to try and pull some new foliage. As long as I can rotate my turntable. And as soon as I got that black enamel on there, I can use it in another location. And even one, even that thin little black line or that thin little green line is enough to imply something. It's a definite impression. I don't know if it's impressionistic or what you call it. It seems like. So, thank you guys for sharing my videos. I really appreciate your help. I need all the help I can get. And um, I'm thinking I really want to try a couple of dots. Maybe five. Because I can, the name of my first book on the Amazon link, under show more under the video, right next to my second book called Unlimited Possibilities. Just plain gold dots, one cohesive element, unifying all of my flowers to look like they're the same. Only not. In any case, if I add some more foliage, it'll be after you're gone. So I, what I'm going to do right now is torch a little bit. I torch to release the bubbles in the paint and also to make patterns occasionally. I love you guys. I said there was 86,000 of you. If you're not subscribed, please join us. If you're interested in joining a Facebook group for students, it's called Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. And we'd love to have you. If you're somebody who wants to see what the YouTube artworks are that I've edited so far, look for Expressionist Art Studio Gallery uh, fans and collectors. If you are looking to see what I've produced for merchandise on Fine Art America or Pixels.com, go to Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more and look for the Shop Now button. And even if you're not actually shopping, you might have some fun checking out my stuff. Um, I have a crib sheet around here and I'm going to try and find it. Wait, there it is! That's so cool when I find those things. There's a drawing and you can find out what's in the drawing if you're a $10 contributor to help keep the studio rolling. Thank you to everybody who's contributed to help keep me painting until now. Look on the end screens for the video that's an exhibition video. It will share with you the prizes and if you do donate I will send you a receipt of that and you'll get that via email. Uh, I have playlists with 1310 videos and there are 12 video lists with 100 in them each and one being populated and there's about 13 lists of genres so they're separated into categories. I said my art was for sale under the video, Pinterest, in Instagram, and Twitter, and the paint pouring recipe. If you guys need to ask me a question, please do. Don't forget to watch the videos longer and give me a thumbs up. And if you're feeling generous, watch the commercials because that's where payday comes. So I love you guys and my other crib sheet is gone so I guess I've told you everything I need to tell you. Um, except for that I love you, like, repeatedly. And thank you for being here. You guys take care, and I will see you anon. I don't know if I'm going to put any more foliage in there, but I kind of want to in this space right here. I'll look at it and decide. But I'm pretty well done. Thank you guys for joining me. I wonder if you can see all of that. You can see all of that. That's cool. All right, take care for now. Take care of each other. Stay well. And uh, binge watch my videos if you're of a mind. I love you guys. I will see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Out.